Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Freaky Fast Broadcasting. My name is Sam Dyer. We got a highlight video for you for the BRB Cup Series. The BRB Cup Series have chase race number four of five. We're coming to a conclusion here very quickly, but tonight the drivers test out their skills in California at the TriVista 225 at Auto Club. Currently, the drivers are all set and ready to go for tonight's race. Little bit of complication at the starting grid. Disconnecting after grabbing the pole, Dustin Stallings is gonna have to see if we can connect back in. I need good graces for a quick caution. But up front, give the control to the number five of Adam Buzio. Outside is gonna be Evan Patinko. As we enter the restart zone, it is time for the Trivista 225 to get underway. We are green here tonight as the five machine and the 96. It's gonna be actually an equal start for the both of them as they drag race down into turn number one. It continues to be side-by-side -side racing as we're seeing the middle of the pack. This is for fifth place currently. And oh no, issues for Brandon Maddox for the 33. You see the replay here. A little bit of drifting, slippery, but there's net code. I think they were gonna make contact, but there was net code there that shipped the 33 high. Early caution. And guess what? Dustin Stallings back, and he's going to be back on the lead lap and all the way back in last place. But we are going to be having a quick restart after a quick caution. We're green for the Trivista 225. Adam Buzio, much better launch. He's all on his lonesome now as they head down into turn number one. These drivers have been two, three wide all race long. And oh, a little bit of trouble though. And no, oh, collision. Carl Puller, Matthew Corder into one another. That's gonna bring out our second caution of the day. Here's a quick replay of what happened. And it's just a little bit of contact shipping the 71 down. Corder continues to go down. Oh my goodness. Matthew Erickson also gonna get caught up in that one. Pace car pulls off. We're ready to get back to racing action for the Trivista 225. Adam Buzio, the lead driver, he'll take off. Patrick Hernandez not able to get going. Instead, it's gonna be the teammates outside row. Huge launch for themselves. Racing action heating up. Adam Buzio having his first contender. Slight contact, Wolcifer into the five. Gavin Rogers though, sticking it to the white line, gassing it up, they'll stay side by side. 56 slips, slips into the wall and there's the momentum. Rogers with the speed, the nose, give that lap lead to Gavin Rogers as they continue to fight. Gavin Rogers, after making that pass over Richard Wolsifer, continues to show his strength. Points leader coming into the night. He'll take this first stage of the night. As a little bit of a replay, coming to the end of the stage one, Richard Wolsifer gets a little bit tied off the exit, but Brandon Maddox, they make contact off the exit of the corner. And Wolsifer gonna lose over four positions and just that one incident, he'll lose another one there. As your stage one comes to a conclusion, Gavin Rogers will take the victor with Fort Bell second, Buzio third, Patinko fourth, and Dustin Stallings recovering after his disconnect for fifth. So the rest of the field, they have to reset, get ready. More at racing action here at Auto Club. Stage two about to get underway and it's Gavin Rogers gonna be the lead driver on the inside row. Buzio starts high as we enter the restart zone. We are back to green flag racing for the Trivista 225. It's been hunting and hounding for the last couple of laps, but Adam Buzio working the outside groove, finding the momentum and speed in the five. I mean, it is working at this moment. He's finding that early pace for Buzio as he sneaks that nose ahead over Gavin Rogers. As 
Zachary King has been struggling further on back. Snaps loose, tries to keep it in the grass, but just too much sliding. Comes up, almost collecting into Erickson. He would have been another victim. With that spin, uh, Zachary King's gonna just call it a night. Adam Bozio, you saw how quick he was in the early stages of stage two. Well, Gavin Rogers stayed low, protected his tires, and now it's gonna have the better momentum and the speed. The 77 taking back the lead. Gavin Rogers doubling down. He'll take stage one and stage two. The victor, Gavin Rogers. As stage two comes to conclusion, it's gonna be Gavin Rogers' top points. Dustin Stalling moves up to second. Borbell falls to third, Buzzio fourth, and pretty much everyone else stays where they were at after the end of stage one. No more stage racing needed. It's all about who's gonna get it into victory lane for the Trivista 225. Gavin Rogers already having a nose head over, over Borbell. Borbell just did not want to take off. And now it's gonna be the teammates, all three of them in line. As we start lap 75. Trouble striking deeper in the field over the radio. It's just been a lot of frustration from Patrick Hernandez who's gonna glaze a little bit of contact into the 98. And Hernandez comes crashing back down. And once again, Matthew Erickson just cannot get away from being a victim tonight. Let the pit stops begin. And interesting on this pit stop, it looks like Richard Wolsifer deciding to be the first driver into pit road and just taking two tires. Ah, uh, this is a gamble. Seems a little bit out of reach, but he's been in further back of the field. You gotta try something different here. Look at other drivers. This is gonna be our lead group. Gavin Rogers, Steve Morbell, they've been on top of one another this whole entire run, lap 100. And it is time to make your pit stop. Aggressive racing as Brandon Maddox comes back out on track. And oh, no, and Patinko into the 33 as they scatter into turn number three. Patinko and Maddox bring out the most recent yellow. 96 is trying to stay up the wall. Not going to be able to do so. What a bizarre wreck. We're going to ride on board with Evan Patinko here in the 96 as Maddox gets back on track. He'll move directly up into the wall in front of these drivers, but Patinko just goes too far out and he tries to make the cross to follow. Stalling just makes too much contact. And then at this point, he's trying his best to keep the car off the wall, but too much momentum. Well, with that late caution, we reset, get ready. Dustin Stalling, again, who disconnected the start of the race. He's got a chance now to go for a victor. Uh, but first, he's got to figure out how to beat the stage one and stage two winner, Gavin Rogers. Already gone and Dustin. Battling for second place, Steven Morbell, Richard Wolfsifer. Wolfsifer touches the apron, drifting up and almost contact with the 10. No, there is contact. Richard Wolfsifer from second. He loses all the momentum and speed. Gavin Rogers, Steven Borbell, they are on top. One another, a little bit too far back is Borbell, but Gavin Rogers, winner of stage one, winner of stage two, missed out on the pole, so the Grand Slam isn't in hand. But tonight, your Trivista 225 winner goes to the 77, Gavin Rogers' ninth win. And what a time to grab it. And Rogers gets to burn it down, have some fun. We'll take a look at the results of tonight's race. Rogers. Leads majority of the race as he'll take the win. Borbell gonna finish in second, stalling third, but all the way down in seven. That's where Adam Buzio finishes. That's not a great spot to be as we take a look at the points coming into tonight. Gavin Rogers, Adam Buzio was just 17 points. Stephen Borbell was 22. They both needed a solid race over Gavin Rogers. Complete opposite happened. 
And as we transition over to what the points are gonna be like for the last race of the season at Phoenix, 33, 34 point advantage for Gavin Rogers. It's a massive one. It practically turns into Gavin Rogers just needs to show up, have a decent race, and it'll take the championship. Let's we'll see at Phoenix.